In this video, we will show you how to perform nucleic acid extraction using the Zymo Research Magnetic Bead Extraction Kit for the 96 wool format, catalog number R2140. If you have not already prepared the kit reagents, do so now. Here we have prepared the reagents and are ready to start. Clinical or environmental samples may be used with this process. In today's video, we will show you the general approach to nucleic acid extraction from any of these samples. The protocol for each sample type may be found in the Pathogen DX product insert. The extraction may be performed in 1.5 mL sterile tubes or sterile 96 mL plates depending on the number of samples requiring extraction. Carefully pipette 400 microliters of the Vortex sample to a designated well on the plate or 1.5 mL tube. To prepare the NTC or no template control, pipette 400 microliters of 1x DNA RNA shield to a new tube or designated well on the plate. Continue as normal. The 1x DNA RNA shield is prepared from the 2x stock. To prepare the extraction control, pipette 400 microliters of 1x DNA RNA shield to a new tube or designated well on the plate. Add 5 microliters of positive control, continue as normal. Add 4 microliters of proteinase K to the 400 microliter sample. Pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. This step is optional but recommended for complex sample types. Add 800 microliters of viral DNA RNA buffer to the 400 microliter sample. Vortex the tubes or pipette up and down to mix in plates. Vortex the mag binding beads. Beads settle quickly. Beads must be kept in suspension while dispensing. Pipette 20 microliters of mag binding beads to each sample and mix well for 10 minutes. Seal plates or cap tubes. Place the plate or tubes on a shaker at 1000 RPM for 10 minutes. Carefully remove the seal from plates to avoid any splash over. Transfer the plate or tubes to a magnetic stand and allow to sit until the beads have pelleted, approximately 30 to 60 seconds. In this example, we are using a 1.5 mm tube stand. Place the tubes on the magnetic tube stand and allow to pellet for 30 to 60 seconds. Aspirate and discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Add 500 microliters mag bead DNA RNA wash 1 and pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. Transfer the plate or tubes to a magnetic stand and allow to sit until the beads have pelleted, approximately 30 to 60 seconds.
Aspirate and discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Add 500 microliters MAG-B DNA RNA wash 2 and pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. Transfer the plate or tubes to a magnetic stand and allow to sit until the beads have pelleted, approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Aspirate and discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Add 500 microliters of molecular biology grade ethanol, 95 to 100%, and pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. Ethanol is not included in the kits. Transfer the plate or tubes to a magnetic stand and allow to sit until the beads have pelleted, approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Aspirate and discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Perform a second ethanol wash by adding 500 microliters of ethanol and pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. Transfer the entire solution, both the beads and the liquid, to a new plate. Transfer the plate or tubes to a magnetic stand and allow to sit until the beads have pelleted, approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Aspirate and discard the supernatant and retain the pellet. Remove as much ethanol as possible without disturbing the beads. This will shorten the amount of time the beads will need to dry. Dry the beads for 10 minutes or until fully dry. Place the plates on a heat block at 55 degrees Celsius. Place a seal without removing the sticker over the plate allowing drying to occur. There must be airflow into the plate for drying to occur. Once the beads are dry, they should turn from a glossy black to a dull brown. Elute the nucleic acid from the beads by adding 50 microliters DNAs RNAs free water. Pipette up and down to mix in plates or vortex to mix in tubes. Allow the plate to sit at room temperature for two minutes. After two minutes, pellet the magnetic beads and transfer the RNA to the elution plate for storage. The nucleic acids may be used immediately or stored frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Avoid freeze-thaw cycles once the nucleic acid is stored frozen. More than six freeze-thaw cycles may result in RNA degradation. 